So the standard that I decided to unpack for this activity is um, identifying the STEM standard HSPS1-10 solutions. This is the high school physical sciences next generation science standard. The standard can be found on the next generation science standards website in GSS. This standard uses evidence to support claims regarding the formation properties and behaviors of solutions at both scales. I chose the standard because when I was developing my STEAM and history multidisciplinary lesson plan, when I was finishing my master's degree, um, this is one of the projects we had to work on. Uh, I wanted my students to use the standard, the science practice of engaging in an argument from evidence. This was actually one of three STEM standards I used to create a lesson on the Harlem Renaissance. My goal was essentially to create um, an African-American uh, history lesson plan from scratch. That was part of our assignment was to create a STEAM enhanced lesson um, based upon a subject that we are teaching or want to teach. Um, so I was actually required to come up with three separate art standards as well. So it was quite detail oriented. Um, so because this was for a STEAM lesson. However, uh, to unpack uh, the standard a little bit more, engaging in argument from evidence is one of the big ideas uh, from this standard. Uh, it is also essential for students in history and the social sciences across the board to be able to develop rationale and thoughtful arguments from the evidence they discover in history and social sciences. Another big idea in the standard is the ability to defend and critique claims and explanations about the natural and design worlds. Arguments may also come from current scientific or historical episodes in science. Other ideas and skills that students will develop from the standard include comparing and evaluating competing arguments, which is very important when studying social sciences, political science, um, debating history, or design solutions in light of currently accepted explanations, new evidence, limitations, trade-offs, constraints, and ethical issues. My goal is to graduate students that are able to engage in thoughtful debate and arguments with people they may not even know, people that are complete strangers, but I want them to be able to engage in productive, um, thoughtful conversations to continue these very important issues that we're facing. They're also going to be able to evaluate the claims, evidence, and or reasoning behind currently accepted explanations or solutions to determine the merits or arguments of these claims. They respectfully provide and or receive critiques on scientific arguments by probing reasoning and evidence, challenging ideas and conclusions, responding thoughtfully to diverse perspectives and determining additional information required to resolve contradictions. Just imagine if um, a large percentage of our voting population was able to do this on a regular daily basis, how much more productive our, um, our conversations would be in the real world and on social media. This is what I want my students to be able to do coming out of my classes. Construct, use, and or present an oral and written argument or counter arguments based on data and evidence. This is why it's so important to be able to combine STEAM or STEM concepts with social sciences history. It's essential, especially for underserved and underrepresented populations to be able to know this. To make and defend a claim based on evidence about the natural world or the effectiveness of a design solution that reflects scientific knowledge and student-generated evidence. Um, by using the and engaging the argument from evidence um, through this big idea within the standard students will be looking at individuals and businesses that forge opportunities for themselves and African American workers in areas outside of the South. This is part of the Harlem Renaissance lesson plan that I developed, part of unit one of the African American history curriculum. 
At the same time, I'm emphasizing 21st century skills in the lesson plan, which is a STEM best practice. Through teamwork and collaboration, students will develop critical thinking, problem solving, creativity, and communication skills, and evaluate historical events. I'm also establishing relevance, which is another STEM best practice. Students can ask questions about why they should care about it. How does it address a real world problem or current events situation? Is there some local or global issue or event that would make this appealing to know more about? Is there a real world work or career opportunity that would be interesting for me to consider? Can I get a better job if I know about this or develop this skill? These questions help contextualize the study of history. So one of the, I think, four or five learning activities that I put into this curriculum was um, Entrepreneurs, My African-American Dream. This is all based upon constructing argument from evidence or establishing argument from evidence as part of this uh, standard. I would, as a teacher, explain to students that they'll be looking at individuals and businesses that forge opportunities for themselves and African-American workers in areas outside the South. I would direct students to read the narrative of the Great Migration, focusing on the segments, networks, and media, and new industrial landscape. So throughout all of these uh, lessons and activities, um, they're basically building upon the establishing relevance, establishing argument from evidence along with the following, the follow-up summative and formative assessment.